Hey yo, good afternoon, viewers of the tube. My name is Tyler, and if it's your first time here, welcome to a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of a man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It's an area which we call the Chico Zone, because it's time for Chico Crypto. That Twilight Zone introduction is the perfect transition into what we are talking about today. This topic will make you think and question what you are being told in the space, especially about the consensus mechanism that is making huge waves with many large projects. That consensus is proof of stake. Now a little forewarning, I like most of these projects that have implemented or are going to implement proof of stake, but there is something many people are overlooking and could cause some problems in the near future. As we know, Ethereum is slowly moving away from a proof of work consensus to a pure proof of stake consensus. Tezos is already functioning with proof of stake, and Cardano will eventually move over to proof of stake whenever the Shelly update gets released. Although the IOHK summit was a big letdown, with no update on when Shelly will be getting released. If we're going to do this, we actually need to hire a lot of scientists, and we need to do some very foundational research. And all of a sudden, people are like, well, wait a minute, won't that take years? And I said, yes, it will take years, but it's the right thing to do. These three proof of stake projects rank number two, number 10, and number 15 on coin market cap and have combined market caps of nearly $22 billion or 12% of the entire cryptocurrency market. That is a significant chunk. Now I have to thank Matt O'Dell for bringing forward these concerns. They are very valid and need to come to light. If you have Twitter, I would definitely give him a follow because he brings up many thought-provoking topics. In the future, especially when Cardano and Ethereum have moved to proof of stake, top exchanges by volume will be staking users' deposits. They even may offer stake rewards that are greater than normal just to buy influence over the networks. The fact of the matter is proof of stake could end up being more centralized than proof of work with their mining centralization. Top exchanges like the exchange who shall not be named, Coinbase, and other international powerhouses like Bitfum, Huobi, and more, they are all the largest holders of Ethereum based on users' deposits. Exchanges are also the largest holders of both Tezos and Cardano based on user deposits. A switch to proof of stake centralizes control and gives the project founders, exchanges, and any ICOs that run on top of the project way more power than in a normal proof of work type of consensus. Now, there is no doubt that with proof of work, there is mining centralization. With the release of ASIC miners, mining centralization was a major topic throughout 2017 to today. In June of 2018, Bitmain and its two mining pools, BTC.com and Antpool, got scary close to controlling 50% of Bitcoin's proof-of-work hashing power. Although the natural evolution of competition thwarted this as more ASIC manufacturers started popping up, dropping Bitmain's dominance and decentralizing the hashing power once again, as seen from the current hashing rate distribution chart. That is the beauty of proof of work. The market and competition of other ASIC miners naturally neutralize control over the Bitcoin network. Now the proof is in the pudding of exchanges becoming the controllers of proof of stake consensus. It's already happening before our eyes. In May of 2018, Coinbase announced Coinbase Pro. In the article, they announced their vision is to give customers the ability to participate in services like staking and protocol voting that are distinct to crypto. This is great as users will be getting their rewards, but as users trust their funds to the exchange, the exchange becomes the validator nodes for the proof of stake consensus, resulting in lower number of nodes securing the network. Then, just three weeks ago, Coinbase announced an update to their institutional level product called Coinbase Custody, which stores crypto for hedge fund clients. They would be adding staking services to let these investors tap into rewards offered by certain types of digital assets running on proof of stake networks. This product is already live for Tezos and will be expanding to others in the future, like Ethereum. 
This is large institutional level investors with large amounts of tokens, giving Coinbase once again many tokens, creating centralization of nodes. This extends beyond Coinbase to other exchanges, like the exchange that shall not be named. They are currently staking users' deposits of Stratus, as we can see from this image of the Stratus Blockchain Explorer. And unlike other exchanges that pay out rewards, they are keeping all the rewards of Stratus to themselves. This will become the norm for all proof of stake chains, and you can't blame the users, nor can you blame the exchanges really. They are all working towards their own best interest, which is wealth for the users and network control for the exchanges. The blame might need to be placed in the flawed design of proof of stake protocols. But proof of stake is happening with some of the most popular chains, whether we like it or not. And centralized exchanges are going to become even more powerful than before. What can be done? Well, decentralized exchanges is the only hope where users have full control over their funds and the exchange of tokens is done via atomic swaps. But as long as fiat on-ramps and off-ramps are still the norm, centralized exchanges will still exist for a long, long time. Decentralization needs to ramp up at a rapid pace, and projects like the Xerox protocol could be Ethereum's saving grace once it moves over to proof of stake. So viewers, Thanks for stepping into the Chico Zone, the other dimension of cryptocurrency. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.